it's a pleasure to welcome in Bobby Crosby. Obviously, Bipster, so many people remember him as an Oakland A's shortstop, uh, but now current manager of the AA Midland Rockhounds in the Oakland farm system. Bobby, I'd rather remember you, though, as two-time analyst of the Oakland A's right here on NBC Sports <laughs> California. You gave well, up I the broadcasting gig for the managing thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was a little bit tougher gig there. I mean, this is, uh, I get to be around players, get to have fun. Not that it wasn't fun hanging out with you guys, but uh, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Well, Bobby, let's talk about the evolution that you've gone through. You was a shortstop, you know, you went out there and you played your game, and now you're a manager. When did you decide that you wanted to get into managing? Yeah, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. In 2019, um, I, I called up Billy. I'm sorry, it was 2018. I called up Billy and said, hey, I'm looking for something to do. I didn't know what it was going to be. And he said, hey, come out to Instructs and see what you want to do. So I came out and instantly I was, you know, I wanted to go out on the field, work with guys uh, and do that stuff. So they put me as a fourth coach in Midland in 2019. And from there, you know, it moved on to managing the last couple of years. So, yeah, I had no idea after playing, you know, as you said, uh, Brody, I was, you know, I wanted to maybe – Get in the analyst side, I had no idea. But once I got on the field, I knew that's where I wanted to be. You were too good looking for television, so stick with the managing <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And I know you're you're busy in your own world. You've got your own team, you've got your own players, you're a couple time zones away, but how cool is it also that your former teammate, uh, Mark Kotze, skipper of the Oakland A's now, I mean, you guys were teammates back in the day. You guys were two relatively different individuals, right? Different styles, different positions. But I'm wondering how much time or attention do you even have to pay uh, on the Oakland A's right now and what Mark Kotze is doing? Uh, we watch him every day. Um, you know, whether I get a little clip here and there, if our games end, end early or if they start before us, we always have in the clubhouse. And, and Kotze, you know, he was one of my favorite teammates of all time. So to see what, what he's doing, he's changing things on numerous levels. Uh, you know, he called me two days ago just to see how I was doing and see how things are going and, and how he's running that club there. And uh, I know the guys respect him. He's a guy that, that that played for a long time, but they respect him who he is too. And, and the fact, uh, you know, how much he cares about what he's doing and cares about the players, it's very, uh, very underrated. And, you know, uh, we're in good hands for a long time with Cots. You know, and Bobby, your style of managing, you know, you were a hard-nosed ball player. Is your managing style sort of in the same line or are you more of a teacher? Or are you more of a, what, what type of manager are you out there with these young kids? Uh, I like to think that I, you know, I, I don't think I'm, I'm really hard nosed. I like to get to know these guys. I like to know what, what makes them tick. Uh, there are things that I, that I really, really care about, about playing the game the right way, about doing things the right way, and what running balls out. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of things that I, that I have a passion for on how they should go about playing the game. But then I like to, you know, get with the guys and see what makes them tick and, and really understand them. Um, and. You know, I, I would like to think if you talk to the players, they, they would know that I, you know, really care about their career. I, I had my time playing and now it's their time and any way that I can, you know, elevate their game, if it's working with them early or whatever it is, uh, if it's just talking to them, you know, if there's different things that make different guys tick. And uh, I, I love every second of trying to make these guys better and get them to the next level.